I think if you were a credit union or the Chamber of Commerce, you'd say, you know what, I might get more customers if everybody knows that if I put my money in a credit union, I can also get power to get less expensive health insurance. Same with the Chamber. I'd be much more inclined to, to pay my money to join the Chamber if I knew I was going to be part of group insurance, particularly if I'm by myself and it's my wife and I and my kids buying insurance. Who wouldn't want to? In fact, I could conceive of big enough associations that nobody's left in the individual market, or it's so small that the people in the individual market who can't get it or don't have the financial means, we end up taking care of in a different way, maybe with government help, but there'd be very few left. So instead of, I think there's about 10 million people in the individual market, um, I could conceive of a, a possibility that 90% or more leave. Because who would really stay? Who would want to buy insurance? You know, I think it's unfair to buy insurance. For a man and a wife to have to buy their insurance on their own is unfair. And it's, a, it's an anomaly of the tax code dating back to World War II.